a direct connection to a terrorist organization in the view of the FBI for it to be terrorism. It's not as much about connection as it is about intention. The FBI looks to the Code of Federal Regulations definition of terrorism, and there are a lot of different there are political definitions, and the U.S. government even has different agencies have different definitions of terrorism. But the FBI looks to one thing in particular, and it's the unlawful use of force and violence against persons or property to intimidate or coerce a government, the civilian population, or any segment thereof in furtherance of political or social objectives. That is not workplace violence. It's not revenge. It's not anger. It's we're trying to make a political statement to intimidate or coerce any level of government or a population. And clearly, their motivations are Islamic extremism. And I think we can make the connection to ISIS. They have just claimed responsibility for it. But I think when Mark Zuckerberg confirms that one of these two terrorists, the wife, posted about ISIS before the terrorist attacks, even maybe during the terrorist attacks, on a Facebook page, and it was uh, since deleted. When he confirms it's there, uh, that's good enough for me. It, it's At the very least, it's ISIS-inspired. It sounds like it's ISIS-coordinated. The FBI wouldn't go that far yet, but they have said that what happened in San Bernardino two days ago, taking the lives of 14 innocent people, was an act of terrorism. We'll be back and let you hear some of that press conference if you missed the beginning. Coming back here in a couple of minutes. First, an update from the KFI Newsroom.